Now for the eye. Start off as always putting the light in the eye. Now this would be the strongest area of light, but there is also that sort of secondary light area like that. And what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to put a little bit of grey on there for the time being. So we've got kind of two tones. I will also have blue and other colours in. Now the surrounding area, around here, I'm going to put some white in, but I'm not going to make it too strong because it's really more grey than it is white. Put some, but white lightens it up slightly because you've got a sand coloured paper. So even a light grey would become a little darker than we wanted it to. You're right on that very edge. You want to keep it quite slim, that dark line. It's going to be altogether different to that when it's finished. You want to keep it, that's it, and then it opens up. Good. Now there's no point in going up there because it's going to be too dark. So put the, put the light grey in there for the moment and that gives us a good base and we can put the darker colours in. Now we can put the grey into the white. But we have the advantage that the white has lightened that up for us. Shouldn't need at all in the situation a small area like this when we're using these kind of colours to blend it with our shaper. Shouldn't need to. See now I'm being very careful here because I want to make sure that I've got the right tonal colour. That looks good. Now immediately we go in with the 233 and create the pupil. Now I want to retain that point on there if I can, so by twisting it round, using it on the side, we should be able to retain it. Yes, we have. Now it goes up and around. Now when it gets to there, it's lost in the background. Was there a shadow running across here? Look, like that. Uh, we're not going to see too much more than that. Great. Now I'm going to put some blue in now. Now this is 140, the colour I used in here. There. I'm going to put that in. It's on the edge. Yeah, I want to keep this colour more or less the tone that it is now. It's not a lot lighter than that. Great. Now let's see. That's one of the blues we got in. <coughs> and um, I'm going to put the second blue this time. right on the edge and that blue will go into the background. This is 143. So immediately we see we've got a slight change of tone on the eye. Now in the eye itself we I'm not going to mess about I'm going to go straight in with 181. Also go in the shadow area at the top on top of that blue. That's good. We can bring that graduate that a little bit because we don't want a hard shadow. Now what I'm going to 
do it now is I'm going to put just a little touch of 182 in. Now 182 and grey together goes very, very slightly green-ish in appearance. And that's the colour that I'm looking for. Maybe I can put just a little smidgen of blue in there which will help it on its way. I don't want a green eye as such, but I want a, a bit of colour in it. That looks about right. Very, very light touch there. Now I'm going back in with the white pencil because I want it to be slightly lighter. Now this time I'm trying to create a bit of interest and detail in the eye, which is working, I'm happy to say. You see, it's not just a plain one boring old colour eye. Now at the back there, um, I think I'll make that a little bit darker at the back. 181. And I'm going to go in with 143. And then I'm going in with black. Now this is tricky because I want it to be dark there. And then I use, because I've got all those other colours, the grey, the black is not going to register that much on top of that. But it's working now. And black of course goes in the pupil. another new colour, new blue. It's a little bit stronger than the 143. But we now got a rather attractive. And then go back in with 140. I won't be using anything other than this on this section. This is working well. And again, try to imagine that you're looking at a cat's eye, which is not one plain, boring old colour. So you can then gradually... And I've got to tell you, this isn't very easy, but it's fun. If you overdo it, which I have slightly, Let's go back in with the grey, 230, or even the white. But you see how wonderfully well that is working now. Just here I'm going to use the 230 as a blender, trying to create. I think I do, it works so well, I do the same on the other side. Because as I said, I'm not going to use a blender here. I don't really want to use a blender, I need to. When these colours are in themselves, I do a blending tool. We're nearly there now. What I'm going to do now is put 151, which is the colour I put right here, into the eye itself, into the pupil. Now this is on top of the grey, the black. But it will work. Because then I can also put just a little touch of 140. 143 is a waste of time. But the 151 created, I think you can see, yes you can see it, I'm looking at the other monitor. Now, nearly there, what I'm going to do now is going to put 
the blue, 140 blue in the eye. Remember I said that the centre area is where the main light is. You see it's all beginning now to run together, which is what I'm after doing. A little bit of black in there, behind. You need to do it this way because if you try to be too ambitious, it doesn't work. I think what we'll do here, we'll make a little bit of one, four, three, to create sort of a little bit of roundness. To people, gosh, this is fun. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I'm doing it. We need, to, we still need a little bit of fiddling about down here, but because we sh we blended that earlier on, it blends really well into itself. It's not far to go now, just a little bit of three on that corner. Let's put a little bit more, just a little bit more blue in the pupil. Now yeah, that's good. Okay, we can come back with our white and re-establish a little bit of light that we had in the eye. That looks good. We can also now. Uh, I'll try it with the. I try it with the two thirteen. Okay, 